Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Hernandez with the Connie Cola Group at Launch Real Estate. And today's question of the day is, when is the housing market going to crash? Consumers are concerned about how quickly the home values are rising these days, and rightly so. Many people fear uh, a housing crash is imminent. In fact, Google over the last month has shown that the term when is the housing market going to crash has spiked by 2,450%. That's how concerned people are. Within the last 30 days, however, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, and Merrill Lynch, four of the major financial services giants have come to the same conclusion. And that is the housing market is strong and price appreciation will continue. Goldman Sachs predicts double digit price gains in 2021 and 2022. JP Morgan says conditions are better now than they will be 12 months from now. Morgan Stanley states that unlike 15 years ago, the euphoria in today's home prices comes down to a, the simple logic of supply and demand. And they conclude that this time the housing sector is on a substantially more sturdy foundation. Merrill Lynch says there are reasons to believe that this is likely to be an unusually long and strong housing expansion. One of the main factors for the significant jump in home prices is the lack of supply. So the next logical question is, how long will the housing shortage last? Before we can answer that question, let's step back in time and to figure out where we are historically in terms of the housing starts. Beginning in 1959, the U.S. Census Bureau started recording housing starts. During the 48 years between 1959 and 2006, builders completed 52,941,000 homes for an average of 1,102,938 homes per year. For the 14 years between 2007 and 2020, builders started 9,914,600 homes or 708,186 homes per year which is 394,752 fewer starts per year than the historical average. Take a look at this graphic, which shows that the shortfall totals 5,526,525 homes between 2007 and 2020. In 2020, builders started 990,500 homes, still below the historic historical average of 1.1 million annual starts. Here's the math, folks. 5,526,525 divided by the shortfall of nearly 400,000 homes equals 13.8 years. That means it's going to take 13.8 years to catch up and create an equal market buyer and seller equilibrium. That's not good news for home buyers. Thinking optimistically, if builders could double their production of homes up to an average of 2 million homes per year, we could achieve a supply demand balance in about six years. Either way, we're in for a long ride before the supply demand balance occurs. So if you're waiting for the market to crash so you can swoop in and get a deal on a home, I think you're in for a long wait. If you're a seller, we're still in a strong seller's market, and that means you have leverage to sell your house on your terms. If you're a buyer, it's still not too late. Housing prices will continue to appreciate for the foreseeable future. As always, if you're in the market for buying or selling a home in this market, let's connect today so we can determine what your options are in this market. I'm Jeff Hernandez. Thank you for your time. At the Connie Cola Group, we move you forward. That's what we do best. Take care, everybody.